The Wood Shop is sponsored by Chefware Kits with hundreds of items for wood turners. All right, welcome back. I'm going to do a natural edge bowl today out of walnut and I'm going to use the microwave to try and speed up the drying process and hopefully no cracks. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, I went ahead and uh, just put it in between centers, put the spur center in and I'm just going to I have it balanced up best I can and I'm just going to go ahead and shape the outside and then we'll turn it around hollow it out. Chuck on it. Turn that around. All right, I'm just going to leave the tail stuck up as long as I can to support it, and then take out the little nub in the center when I get get down there. But I'm just going to clean it out.
So, let's test it. A little bit, a little bit less right there. So it's about, about uh, other than the foot right there. I think I can maybe come down a little bit more right there. It's about three eighths all the way up, and there's a little, it's a little thin right there, a little thin spot where I keep hitting, and try and smooth that out a little bit more and bring it, bring it down from that, that lip right there. Go ahead and bring the tool rest back up. So what I did is I took it straight off lay, straight into the microwave. I ran it for about 30 seconds at a time, and then I let it cool off for you know 20, 30 minutes in between each each session. Probably I probably didn't have to go that long, but but I wanted it completely cool before I stuck it back in. Um, I did that for quite a quite a while, most of the evening, and uh, and back and forth on on that, and it seems to be settling down now so if you want to check the weight on on to see if it's dry just use a scale so when it stops losing moisture but i wouldn't pull it right out of the microwave and then stick it on the scale because it's it's going to be drier than it when it it uh the moisture in the air comes back into it so just kind of let it sit for a while and and do it again and and when it's you know the same weight then it then it's dry so i think it's pretty dry I'm going to power sand the whole thing and then I will come back, but I'm just going to speed that process up because it's going to take a long time. There's some grain that, that stood all up in it. I think you can maybe see that. So I need to knock all of that down and then we'll be back. I'm just finishing up with 600 here. It's been about an hour. <laughs> it's just a lot of hand sanding. You can't can't sand the little wings here when the lay is on. So I didn't mess mess too much with the foot down here when I spin it around and take the tenon off. I'll uh, I'll sand that. Let's uh, go ahead and wipe this thing off and turn around and get that tenon off.
All right, so I just put it back in there. It's pretty centered. And I'm just gonna turn the lace speed up just a little bit and take light cuts and get rid of the tenon. And I'm gonna use a spindle gouge for that. There we go. And hopefully you can see that right in the center there, somewhere, there's one little crack. And I'm hoping once the moisture gets back in it and it settles down a little bit that it will close back up. But I'm pretty happy with it. Just that one little spot and everything else looks good on it. Even the, the pit is, there's just a little spot right in the center of both of them, but, but it hasn't split at all. So what I did was I took it right off the lathe after I turned it put it in the microwave 30 seconds at a time. I put it in for 30 seconds, let it sit for 15, 20 minutes to cool down, put it back in. And I kept repeating that process for several hours. Um, I don't know, maybe maybe about four hours or so and until the weight stayed the same. And that's all I did was was weigh it to determine when it was, when it was dry. So, but I will, show you it again next week and we'll see if maybe that crack will close up but if not i'm happy with that one little one little check in it and again it's walnut but thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe